Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Source, and I am scorching hot right now. I'm up in the NBA alone, I'm up almost 16 units in the month of March, just seven days. In the past three days alone, the VIP bets I've given out have gone 24 and 5. I'm unstoppable right now, and I'm gonna keep it rolling tonight. In this video, we got the Charlotte Hornets versus the Brooklyn Nets. Finally, looking like a healthy Brooklyn Nets with the exception of Ben Simmons. Should be a good game to watch. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the Swiss. The Swiss. Swiss. Hey, get the Swiss. All right, Brooklyn on the road in Charlotte here. The line is Hornets plus four. All the actions on the nets i'm talking 96 percent of the money on brooklyn this is as of 4 a.m this morning yo check this out we got some reverse line movement here like i said all the money's on the nets and for the most part it stays on the nets it's slowly coming back to the hornets a little bit look at what the books are doing they drop from four three and a half now we're all the way down to three so let's cap this game if you subscribe to this channel you already know the first step we're running the numbers through the spreadsheet according to the analytics the line for this game should be charlotte minus 10.89 so that's a 14 point lead on the charlotte hornets here yes 14 points obviously that spreadsheet does not take into account injuries um it's just taking the nets analytics from the last five games the last 10 games and as we all know the nets play a lot of games recently without durant and without kyrie both of them play tonight all right let's run through a quick breakdown kevin durant back in the lineup for brooklyn he's been back for two games now this will be his third nets 0-2 since his return. They have not won a game yet since Durant's back. But the two games they did play with Durant were against Boston and Miami, probably two of the top three teams in the Eastern Conference right now, and possibly the two best defenses in the entire NBA. So let's cut the Nets, Nets some slack there. So will Brooklyn eat their third consecutive L with Durant in the lineup, or will they finally get a much needed win here? So let's take a look at the numbers and we'll start with the Charlotte Hornets defense, which has been playing very well recently. Since the All-Star break, Hornets are not Ninth in the NBA in uh, overall defensive efficiency, eighth in the NBA against the three point shot, second in the NBA in defending shots at the rim. Notice I left out the mid range shot. Did you catch that? The reason I did is because that is the Hornets kryptonite recently. Since the All Star break, they are 28th in the NBA in defending the mid range shot. So do you want to take a guess at which NBA team takes the most mid range shots in the league? Yeah, it's the Brooklyn Nets. Since the All-Star break, the Nets attempt 43.2% of their field goals from mid-range, which is first in the NBA. And now that Durant's back, I don't know if you ever watched Kevin Durant play basketball before, but he loves to shoot the mid-range shot, 99th percentile in the NBA in mid-range shot attempt frequency. This Brooklyn Nets offense with Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant on the floor might be the Charlotte Hornets defense worst nightmare. Now, to be fair, having said all that about the Nets offense, we also have to address the Hornets offense. Brooklyn's defense has been awful since the All-Star break, dead last 30th in the NBA in overall defensive efficiency. So as much as I think the Nets offense is just gonna dominate and score at will on this Hornets defense, you can make the same argument for the Hornets offense should, it really should snap off on this weak Brooklyn defense. So who am I betting here? Well, I'm gonna start off by saying, even though the total's way up high, at 239 and a half, I'm still gonna play the over here. I think both teams could shoot over 50% from the floor tonight. As far as picking a side, I really do like Charlotte right now, and I plan on betting the Hornets a lot for the rest of the season, but I think this Nets team is too hungry for a win. They got unlucky having to play Miami and Boston back to back. I think this Hornets defense, although it's pretty good, it's going to be a sight for sore eyes for this Nets offense. I'm going with the Nets, man. Give me Brooklyn minus three. Let's lock that in. Uh, this will definitely be on the final ticket. Yo, quick update. So while we were editing this video, the line jumped back up to four and a half. Uh, so just to keep the video up to date before I upload it, I'm still on the Nets at four and a half. Definitely would rather be laying three but I'll still take it at four and a half. Final ticket posted on kylecrims.com, five o'clock p.m. Eastern time. It'll have my bet of the day, my top three bets for tonight because there's only six games, light slate, parlay of the day, as well as every single pick for every single sport posted right on the website, kylecrims.com, five o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Also, if there's any crazy last minute changes, injury updates, money shift, line movement, anything like that, I will definitely keep you posted on my Twitter, Instagram story, and Facebook. So make sure you check one of those three platforms before you place your bets. We are scorching hot in the NBA, 16 units in just seven days. I don't wanna stop, I want more. Let's have another big money night. I'll talk to you on Twitter.